I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. If you were expecting a palace, then maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Now, if you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Helga is a devout follower of Debella, and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Helga is a devout follower of Debella. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. I'll be here when you're done. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon isn't the place. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Here, you want something or not? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. I don't have any business with you, so...
Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. What business the college... Rifton's under my protection. You watch yourself now. the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. This isn't happening. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it. Clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin. And I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We could talk later. Let me show you the operation, then you can ask your questions. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. It's 
Better not be another waste of the guild's resources, you know. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? If you're not sure, maybe you don't belong here. I'll ask again. Are we clear on all? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now, are we clear on all of this? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Bull, are you? Even our little ex couldn't get it. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Bex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagger. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Wanted to say something to you. Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living, either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. I made a great deal of gold doing it, too. It's where a client pays you to get arrested. You get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... Well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape. And that's where my strengths came in handy. Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. And the last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. I'm sure we'll speak again. Got a minute? 
My father told me he found me as a young boy, in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange rune. No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Perhaps they could be nonsense, inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Actually, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father, gave it to me. Thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I appreciate that. Be seeing you. This better be important. I'm quite busy. I'd like to know why you're wasting time asking about it when you should already be on your way. I'm watching you. You could have just asked. Don't even think about it.
thing. The challenger is near!
Hey, let's hey, talk. Hey. I want to talk to you. Now. You've made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Let me see that. Arengarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Just keep your ears open and your mouth shut. You'll do fine. Can a humble servant of Talos help you today? I trained our daughter Lilia as a healer to one day tend the shrine of Talos and replace me as a priestess of Talos. When the fighting began over the white gold concordat, she ran off to join the storm cloaks. She had her father's fire. How could I say no? She died out there, only having tended to the wounded soldiers for a few months. We never even found her body. The Empire burned all the dead. He's the protector of man, the dragon of the north, the patron of all norths. Talos guide me. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. I don't have any business with you. Looking for so work? Get out of my face. I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby. Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Why won't they do as I say? Ah, that's a real shame. You would have fit the bill nicely. How should I look? They always try to take advantage of me. So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. I'll tell you what. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand, it's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Head to the Bannered Mare in White Run and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Some layabout named Sabion. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabion get as far as he did. 
In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. Exactly. With Savion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Savion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. What do you need? You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone's obsessed with Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Need something? Can't a man drink in... I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to... Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Remember, Sabjorn will be needing a helping hand. Make it look good. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Are you kidding me? L I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Well, that's not how I operate. So forget it. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant Malice handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Now I've got to clean up this mess. Was something we discussed unclear?
was what are you something doing we that discussed. For? Well, it's about time. You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said move. Farewell, Sabjorn. What are you doing that for? I don't think that could have gone any... Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. I didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Mead. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. <laughs> 